I feel like I'm going on a first date with Ryan. Oh, I'm so nervous. My videos are partially sponsored by usamini-motors.com. Please click the link in the description and subscribe to my channel. It's Thanks. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters, and today you're gonna to meet Ryan for the first time. And I have my friend Sarah here, my cinematographer, second camera woman, person, whatever. And we're gonna get some good footage, and we're gonna see his garage, and we gotta figure out where to park. So here we go. Oh, Ryan, there, oh there's his garage, perfect. <laughs> Ryan, I'm looking forward to seeing your gym. Your gym. <laughs> Sorry. Ryan, I'm really excited about seeing your garage. I can't tell you how long I've waited to get here. You and I have been talking on the phone for six weeks. You're the only person I talk to on the phone other than my mother. So I feel like we've become good friends. I know a lot of stuff about you. I want you to tell the people watching my channel as much as you can about you. So what type of companies have you worked for? I've worked for BMW. I've worked for Vespa, Aprilia, Moto Guzzi. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me tell, learn a little bit about one thing at a time. What did you do for BMW? Uh, I was a mechanic for BMW for, for four years. Holy shit. So what is it? You have to get a special certification to work for BMW? No, no. They, there's, uh, there is a, a tiered education involved. And you worked for them for four years? For four years, yes. So compared to a Beamer, electric scooter is going to be a simple fix. Yes or no? Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, they're, they're complex in their own right in different ways. You're such a nice guy. You don't want to say it. I'll say it for you. These are nothing for him. You can fix all of them. So you mentioned you also work for Vespa. Uh, that is correct. Yes. Tell me about how you work for Vespa. Um, I work for, uh, for Vespa, for Vespa's PR, uh, for press. I did, I was there, I was a mechanic for Vespa. So I did their, their press fleet. So we know you fix electric scooters. Is it safe to say that you fix electric bikes? Sure. Electric, bikes, ska electric skateboards. Bikes, skateboards. Yes. The one wheel. Yes. Can you fix a one wheel? Yes. Can you fix a nine bot ES4? Yes. Are you serious, man? You know how tight those things are put together? I can I can, can fix you fix it. an Irby Pro GT? Yes. Can you fix a Cabo Wolf Warrior? Sure. Can you fix an Onyx Spike? Anything electrical and mechanical. Can you fix a Suron? Anything electrical and can you fix? Can you fix a scooter that I bought off of Alibaba, the brand either Mikey or FLJ, the two most common brands? Could you fix those? Yes, and when I do fix them, they'll be better than the condition in which I received them. All right, guys, I really want to thank Ryan for telling us all about him. And now we are going to check out his garage. Pretend you're walking this way now. We I film want to walk around and look at your projects first, because this is sick. Nobody sees like, okay. I mean, look at your, look what we're looking at here. You got like a Dualtron Ultra. This looks familiar, because this is actually my freaking scooter. Right next to it, you have Another fucking, what do you have here? So the Thunder, huh? It's got the Carbon Revos on it, so you can tell that this owner had put definitely some time into the scooter. And you can kind of see the comparison to the Thunder and the Ultra, you can see the deck is the same. So this Thunder here, what are you doing to that? Okay, so, so the, uh, the Thunder, I gave it to me, the person that had it went out of town, and they just wanted a uh, bunch of stuff done. So I did uh, rims, tires, rotors, brakes, a, a clamp. Wow, that's awesome. Side brake. Was it really beat up when you got it? Uh, it was in pretty bad shape. Yeah, Holy it was pretty, shit. Pretty, um, I put it probably about, uh, I want to say three or four hours into it. Wow. Um, wow. On, on, on and off. So I, I go for that. I'd say four, about four hours. That's a very, that's a very impressive job, a very advanced job. And yeah. so what else we're sitting here? So this is my Ultra. Uh, this is an Ultra that, that came in with an electrical problem, as you may know, Steve. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I haven't told you guys, but I hit a fucking huge pothole at 40 miles per hour and I turned off my power assist, the brakes wouldn't work. So can you show me what part was bent? I do, I have those right here. So I think a big part of this garage is gonna be upgrading generic parts that are inferior to easily accessible, better parts, especially like little screws like this. Like so look at this shit. So when you look at it, you can oh, I can see, see it, it's bent. See I can see it's out. bent. And look at that. Holy shit, so like, it's crazy. Because actually, honestly, maybe as a layman, I would be like, is that bent? What I do, so whenever I take uh, hardware off of vehicles, I replace them with better, higher quality hardware, brand new all the time, every time without fail. Yes, that's very exciting, man. That, you know, because, you know, eventually if the person rides it for a long time, it's going to come back, right? And you want it to have those sure. parts on there sure. when sure. you go to fix it. And, okay, so you have a Speedway in here. So you also have a Speedway 4 hiding here in the corner. What are you doing with the Speedway? Okay, so the Speedway uh, was diagnosed and I need, the, uh, I need a motor for it. So the, uh, the complaint was he came in um, and he's riding it and no longer... It started to slow down and then turned off. It turned off. It stopped. I think an electric scooter simply turning off 
is like the biggest fear and, and 80% of what can go wrong with a scooter, it just turns off. Sure. And then there's a million things that it could be, right? Yes. So that's where I come in. I have um, a background in electronics and diagnose, um, confirm the diagnosis. And then after that confirmation, I then call the, uh, the owner of the vehicle. And uh, after that, it's yes or no on the repair. I give a cost for, for, the, uh, for, for the time. Just like a regular repair shop. But very honest, because Yogi Steve is vouching sure, for this stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, awesome. <laughs> I'm no longer a stranger. I've been talking about you for months on the channel, you know. Yeah. So people like, you know, I've been just using your name, like, who's this fucking guy? Yeah. So <laughs> now we know. And now and that you've already, you, you've done two, say that again? And off the channel, you talk about and, and listen, <laughs> Sarah will affirm that I am in love with Ryan a little bit, because he's like an instant friend, just a super friendly, nice guy. And uh, he's into scooters, what can I tell you? But he's already, she's already done two projects for me, bigger projects. Um, so... I don't even want to talk about this for too long, but this is my Dualtron 2 Limited, where he is just, I don't know what happened to it, it just turned off, and then I did some soldering myself, and I fucked it up, and he's repairing it from a horrible state. So this is like, a, gonna be a crazy project, I think. So what are you gonna to do to fix this scooter? Okay, so I have to replace the front wheel, because um, it was determined that the, uh, the, the insulators on the wires were, uh, were chafed, causing a ground, a destructive voltage to the controller, burn the controller, so we have a new controller, we are waiting for a new motor, um, I'm going to install the motor, and reconnect everything that you see here. Uh, Resolder new uh, new connectors, new high voltage connectors. Out with the old, in with the new. Always better quality. Listen, guys. Anybody that tells you that fixing electric scooters is easy, show them this. Tell them to fix that. Go ahead, fix that. I'll look it up on YouTube. You need you need an expert to fix this stuff, guys. No doubt. Okay. So finally, we've been building up to the elephant in the room, okay. which looks like an elephant. And even as a guy around scooters, I never see them. Dualtron X. It's probably the most uh, reliable, robust. Armageddon ready scooter. When the zombies come, this is what you're gonna to wanna to have. Um, so this scooter brand new will probably give you, a, you know, with no problem, 75 miles range, probably 50 to 75, I would guess. Sure. And you know, Ryan's working on this too. I mean, this is a super, this is a very exotic top of the line electric scooter. What's the story of this Dualtron X? Okay, so the, the person that had this, they actually went down on it. And- uh, when Oh they shit. Went, <laughs> when, when they went down and there's the, uh, there's a star on the, oh, seat, shit. You see it on the side there. Look at that, holy cow. Okay. So oh my God. Okay. So they went down on it. it there was an issue with the with the functionality after that, the electronics turned so off, huh? It, yeah, it turned <laughs> off. It started doing some really crazy stuff. At that point, it was it was DOA, dead dead in the water. And also the uh, the suspension. It's a known problem with the with the uh, with the bushings on the on the exit. What's a bushing? The uh, where where are they in the okay, scooter? So here we go. So You've told me your your custom your custom making but, bushings for this. Huh? I don't even know what a bushing is. Okay. So this is this is the shock. The okay. bushings go through the eyelet. The okay. part that holds this here. The part that holds. That's called the bushing, huh? And so basically, I'm making a bushing. The bushings out of urethane, which is a which is a far better material. They use it in high performance race cars, and I make them from scratch here in the shop. So I'll do the install. I'll make them first, press them in, and then reinstall, and then do the electronic portion, and uh, then I'll test it to my liking, because uh, you know, like I said, I'm a perfectionist in everything that I do, and from that point. Uh, if I like it and it passes my test, then I'm gonna call the customer, tell them it's ready, and then he can come pick it up. So on this scooter, from what you're telling me, it seemed like all the wires were just ripped out from the way he, when he when he damaged there, it. There were there were some damage. The way that it was explained to me, the way that he explained it to me, he said that the the front was turned 360 and the harness was wrapped around the. Um, Damn! And look at the stem on this thing and everything. Like, how the hell do you do that to this type of a scooter, right, guys? I mean, this is what a 12 inch tire. Or 13, 13 inch. 13. 13. My tires are 11 and they're gigantic. But like, and I, this is new. This whole me folding mechanism is new. Yeah, it feels good. Ooh, brakes feel really good. Yeah. Did you adjust the brakes? Yeah, I did. And I, I realigned them. Oh, shit, dude. They feel really good. The brakes feel really good. Oh. Power's just going. This, re this reminds me of what it's like when you get a Dualtron fresh out of the box. For whatever reason, the brakes are as good as they're ever going to be, and the less you maintain them, the worse they get. So 
they feel really good. You did a really good job on the brakes, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so let me ask you, how do we get in contact with you at this point? Well, email would be the best way. What's your email? Rich by default at gmail.com. So okay. R I C H B Y, the letter D by itself, F A U L T at gmail.com. I will make sure to uh, put it in the comments down below as well. And guys, if, uh, if he doesn't get back to you right away, just write me on any of my platforms. You know, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and you can write me in the comments. Contacting you is easy. And I highly recommend that if you have any problem with your vehicle and you're in this area, Ryan is basically the only guy to go to. Steve, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I really do.